Hey everyone, in this week's tutorial I'll be showing everyone how to make a grid effect in uh, Photoshop. You may have seen a uh, grid effect before um, since it's pretty popular now and I just decided just to, you know, decided to make a tutorial for you guys. So let's go ahead and make a new file project. Uh, click new. Make sure the width is 20, height is 20, resolution should be 72, and background contents is white. Click OK. And we're, we're gonna zoom into the little square. That should be good. And we're gonna go to the rectangular marquee tool. And then we're just gonna cover the whole square. So click from the top left corner. Hold to the bottom right corner. And we're gonna go to our arrow keys. We're gonna move it up one and left once. And then um, we're gonna go to the paint bucket tool, make sure the color is black. And we're gonna just click inside of it and you get the grid effect. Now we're gonna go to uh, edit. Is it edit? Let's see. And we're gonna go to uh, Find pattern, and we're just gonna name it um, grid effect. Click OK, and now we're just gonna make a. Uh, you can either make a new uh, file. I'm just gonna make it um, 1920 by 180. You can make it either like 1280 by 720 or your screen resolution should be fine and now um, I'm actually gonna do it to my uh, my YouTube background template you could probably find it in my uh, channel you can download it and stuff but here is my uh, template YouTube background template and um, I'm just gonna disable all the whatever you call it <laughs> um, since I already have applied a pattern to my template I'm going to go ahead and disable that first. And now uh, we're going to go to this little, uh, I mean this little circle with black and white here. Half black, half white circle. And we're going to go to gradient. No, actually go to pattern first. And uh, we're going to, you get to choose your pattern. And then you could you could change the scale up to you know make it bigger. That I like it like small. That's what she said. Um, just like that. And um, click OK, and you have applied the pattern. But I'm gonna do something interesting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this. What do you call this, anyways? Let's see. New fill or adjustment layer. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to gradient, and I'm gonna choose black to white. Actually, let me change the color. Change the white to. Uh, you could you just double click it if you uh, want to do the same thing. Um, I'm thinking uh, blue. Too bright, I mean, too dark. Too bright, I mean. Uh, sorry, this is taking a while. Should be fine. Click OK. Click OK. And I'm going to change the style to uh, radial. I'm going to reverse it. And move the radial effect to gradient effect a little up there. Okay, and now we're going to uh, drag the pattern fill above it. And now we're gonna. Ch you can either uh, lower the opacity to get the gradient effect, or you could keep it at 100% and then uh, change it to. Uh, 
Let me see. Let me, uh, ex linear burn, I think. No. Fail. What is it? No. I guess that could work, too. Color dodge. I'm pretty sure there's another one. Maybe soft light actually, yeah. Looks bright. Um, you can just mess around with the blending mode. Or the, what would you call this? Uh, I'm so sorry. But you can just mess around if you look. Oh, that looks ugly. Uh, not color burn. Not lit. None of the burns, sorry. Yeah, pretty much anything you want. Color dodge, soft light, soft light looks pretty, uh, looks pretty cool, and, um, yeah, just mess around with, uh, what do we call these, uh, these blending modes, or whatever, um, yeah, so mess around with that, and, uh, set it to whatever to your liking, and, uh, have fun with it, have fun with the gradient, uh, not the gradient, the grid pattern, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, just mess around with this, have fun with it, and um, I'll see everyone next week for another tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really, I would really appreciate it. Um, it shows me your support, and you know, give me a thumbs up if you like the tutorial, and most importantly, subscribe. Um, you know, I upload videos at like twice a week, and. Um, you know, the more subscribers, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I do hold uh, monthly giveaways also, so it's always a plus for you to subscribe. You know, there's a benefit for you subscribing. You get to see uh, weekly tutorials, um, you know, unboxings or whatever, and monthly giveaways. So if you stay subscribed, you know, you're most you're more likely to be entered in most of my giveaways because I do hold monthly giveaways and yeah so um, I'll see everyone later I guess uh, thank you for watching hey guys if you like the wonderful music playing in the background by robot science go ahead and hit up my description box for the link